Coming up on New England Hockey Journal, Northeastern University. The Huskies have risen to the top of college hockey in Boston. With a new coach and a loaded roster, they now have their sights set on a bigger prize. We'll take a look at the team and their captain, Hobie Baker candidate Jordan Harris. Hey, New England Hockey Journal, come on in. Fontaine, Ritzkovian, and Harris are the three Northeastern players. Thrun, Dornbach, and Abruzzisi, and Fontaine scores to win it for Northeastern in overtime. Gunner Wolf Fontaine's second goal of the year. Two to one, Huskies beat Crimson. Wow. In Boston, there's been a changing of the guard in the college hockey landscape. Northeastern, once a team looking up at the BU and BCs of the world, are now on their level, winning the last three Beanpot tournaments and becoming one of the top programs in Hockey East. And McDonough scored! We have a reputation now that, you know, Northeastern's not a pushover team. Like, you're not coming into Matthews and expecting, you know, an easy win. And another chance, and Ty Jackson gives Northeastern a one to nothing lead. But you look back 10, 15 years ago, Northeastern was kind of pushed under the rug a little bit compared to the other Boston schools. So I think the school as a whole still kind of has a chip on his shoulder, and you feel that throughout the rink. But the Huskies aren't just looking for regional success. They now feel they can compete yearly on a national level. Not bad timing, considering that the 2022 Frozen Four takes place at the TD Garden. Hey, don't be afraid of change, though, coming up. You know what I mean? It's a long-term goal, and we know that uh, it's part of the process going through getting better every day and working towards that. And, but it is something that, that, that's exciting. I mean, we're a Boston school, so that means something to us. Struble. Carries in, shot, score! Last year was a tough year, obviously academically and hockey-wise, no fans, practicing with masks on, and we just had no momentum. Like, we'd play a couple games, we'd get a couple wins, then there'd be a shutdown because someone got a case. We were calling it together. It was the whole team, it wasn't just, you know, a couple guys. So, we kind of just really stuck together, and I think, um, you know, that's definitely prepared us better for this year. Now it's a new season. The fans are back, and so is the excitement. Off the wall for DeMellis. Next stick work to get around Dockery. Matt DeMellis moving in, and he scores! Oh, what a goal! We have unbelievable fans. I'd say the best in Hockey East, especially for big time games. They show up and they're loud. You know, playing in front of the doghouse is awesome. Just get a really cool feeling when you walk in here because every time you, you see someone from around this area, everyone always played here when they were in high school or they played state tournaments here. And so for me, it, it, we're fortunate to have a rink like this and, and I think it's important to understand the history of it and how lucky we are to play here. And it's more than just being part of a great school and a great team, it's, it's Boston. You know, for Northeastern, we were able to have a campus setting within the city so we still have, you know, our green courtyards and you know our classroom settings and the dorms and you really do feel like you're you know I kind of isolated from everybody else when you're when you're on campus but then you take you know a step off a of campus and you're you know downtown Newbury Street Boylston Street like you're right there and you go to Red Sox games and you go to the Prudential Center and you go to Bruins games it's a really special spot and the Huskies are looking to have a very special season they have eight players that have already been selected in the NHL draft six of those eight have local ties. I mean, I always kind of wanted to stay local in Boston. I feel like a lot of kids around here do. You know, I liked that it, they were a little bit of an underdog organization at the time. Obviously not now. You know, I've, I've had two of them change really great years here, so I wouldn't take it back. It's a great place to go to school and play hockey, but I think the best thing that I've taken away from it is just the lifelong memories I've made with my friends and teammates here. And Honestly, I don't know if there's one thing that makes it the best. Being in Boston, playing in front of the awesome fans, in Matthews, playing in Hockey East, which is one of the best leagues in college hockey. It's everything I ever wanted, all my best friends. It's really just a dream come true. Coming up next on New England Hockey Journal, we will take you into the Huskies locker room and learn more about their new head coach. That's a good heavy shift there, man. Good work. Good work. 
New England Hockey Journal's Rinkwise, hosted by Kirk Ludicky, is the hockey podcast for serious hockey players and their supporters to help guide them throughout their hockey careers with interviews and insight from some of the biggest names in the game. Download Rinkwise today wherever you get your podcasts or listen at hockeyjournal.com slash podcast. All right, man. Listen, I've done a lot of talking. We've all done a lot of talking here. Let's go out. It's team first tonight. Everything we do, okay? Great start. Let's go have our best 20 minutes we've had as a group, okay? That's all we got to focus on. Team first, play for each other. Keep pressuring the puck on them. Second, second. The decision was not too difficult to make. When longtime Northeastern head coach Jim Madigan accepted the position of athletic director, Jerry Keefe, his associate head coach since 2014, was the natural choice to succeed him. Centers, let's get nice and low. Weak sides open. Weak sides open. Make sure we're maintaining our speed. We're running our routes with our other guys. Being at Northeastern for the last 10 years, I really got to know what this university is all about and what this hockey program is all about. So for me, this was something that at the right time for myself and my family, this was the job that I really wanted. Lefty, lefty, lefty. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about because we're just standing here. Like, you're here. If there's nothing there, throw it behind the net. Play catch and we'll work out that side a little bit. Over the past five years, Madigan has brought the hockey program to new heights, coaching the Huskies to three NCAA tournament appearances and winning two Hockey East titles. They've also produced several players now playing in the NHL. Coach Keith was the primary recruiter during those years. Working together for 10 years, we got to know each other so well, and uh, I consider Coach Madigan a really, really close friend. It was great working together. You know, he allowed me to do things that he felt I was comfortable doing, and it just worked. Remember, they've got the reload guy. So we can't, when we're low, we can't play catch with the reload guy. As a head coach, you don't get on the road as much as, as you'd like to. You still try to and you need to. You, you have to be part of the recruiting process, but you also have to trust your staff. And, and, and I'm fortunate because we have uh, two really good assistant coaches with uh, Coach Levine and Coach McLaughlin, and it's a team effort. So far, the formula has worked as the Huskies are off to a fast start and atop of the Hockey East standings. Right now, we're just playing catch on the perimeter. Play down here a little bit more. You know, we can sneak over and run some plays behind the net. We can even go back and then back up again. But let's get going down here a little bit, make them turn a little bit more. I'm a player's coach. I'm an intense coach. I believe that you can develop and win at the same time, and, and I really stick to that approach. Just play in between them. And coach Keith has been great, you know, and the biggest thing I think with him is he's constantly communicating with us and getting our ideas. That's a good heavy shift there, man. Good work. Coach Keith still is the exact same when he was last year. So for me and all the older guys that have been here, it's, it's really comfortable knowing that he's not really changing the way he has been preaching anything or his mindset. He definitely just does whatever he needs to get the guys going. You know, whether that's he needs to be, um, you know, harder on us to, you know, get more out of us. You know, he, he always will do whatever it takes. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. We need a shift here. We need a shift. Let's go. Honestly, it hasn't been too different. We definitely miss Coach Madigan, his presence in the locker room. Uh, he kind of lightened the mood, joked around, but a lot of things feel exactly the same. Got to box out, defend early, make it hard in there, okay? Make it hard for them to get in there. He's an intelligent coach. He's a passionate one. You know, this year, getting to talk to him more, you can just see how much he cares. He's putting it off the glass, isn't it? You watch our games, you can tell that he gets into the games. He wants to win more than anyone else. If the game's not going our way, you know, he gets pretty angry, he gets on us, but that gets us going. You really want the players here to, to feel like playing at Northeastern was a dream. You know, it was, it was something that um, they appreciated. They appreciate the fact that they have tremendous support here. Um, they see the players that were here before them. Um, and they developed a tremendous culture here as a group. And that, that's one of the things that's really important to me is when you look back at the players that, that were here four, five, six, seven years ago, what it meant to them to play here and what it meant to them to, to hold trophies and, and win a trophy together. So um, that's something that's really important is, is going back to that culture and what it means to, to have played at Northeastern. You know, I, I know I've been, been a grouchy, you know what, lately. I'm trying to push you guys and you guys you responded big time tonight, so credit to you guys. That's a huge, uh, huge win that we needed. Good job. When we return, we'll get to know NU Captain Jordan Harris, both on and off the ice. Loose puck, 
Curry looking for it, can't get to it. Northeastern controls. Up top it is Harris again. His wrister scores! If you had to end your college career on a high note, it couldn't have been more perfect for Jordan Harris. This was in February of 2020, only a few weeks before the start of the pandemic. Having also won a bean pot and a Hockey East championship the season before, and looking at an uncertain college hockey season coming up, no one would have blamed Jordan if he turned pro and joined the Montreal Canadiens, who drafted him in 2018. But he loves attending Northeastern. And now a senior, he showed us around. We rearrange this usually a good amount, like to have different setups. We have a pretty nice view of Boston. I live with Steven Agrogianis. Um, he's a sophomore here. Julian Kissin, who's a senior. And then Marco Basso, who's the other senior. Well, honestly, all of our roommates like to cook. Mostly every night we're cooking here, um, fighting for pans, fighting over the dishes. The best cook is honestly up for debate. This is Julian, good chef. I don't like to tell him a lot of the time, but. Good chef. Good chef. What's your specialty? Octopus. <laughs> we have some crazy stuff here. Boz is Italian, um, Agro is, is Greek, so we, we have a lot of stuff, a lot of flavors going on. It's like a normal dorm room. My brother, he makes his bed every single morning at home, and he has for years, and it's something that I've always seen and, and try to follow. I can't say I do it every day. I try to wrap my Kim Lee Union swag around here. Some of the best years of my life, everyone that I met. Uh, at KOA, it was really special. To any young kids, I don't recommend them starting a shoe collection, but I unfortunately did a few years ago, and, and I'm working on it now, but um, shoes are my thing. It's odd how fast it goes, and the people that you meet along the way, and the fact that you're a senior and, and captain, and, and one of the older guys, you know, people ask you for advice and different stuff about the team, but it's special. You know, it's a special place to be a senior. Last year, we'd have a lot of weekends where, uh, like, we'd go to have a game, and then the next day you find out it was canceled. Like, we're still testing once a week here, and, and everyone's really safe, but it's a lot better in that aspect. The promise I made to my parents coming into school is that I'd always get my degree, especially from a school like Northeastern. My parents are really proud about that, and it's something I'm really proud about too, and something that I've been looking forward to now. I only have a few classes left. It's really special. And the captain of the Huskies is looking to lead his team to a Hockey East title and more. He definitely leads by example. He's not the most outspoken person, but when he talks, everybody listens. He does everything right on and off the ice. Uh, he's just an unbelievable kid. I don't think anyone can say a bad thing about Jordan Harris. Good help, good help. I like to take care of everything in the D zone. Like I take a lot of pride in my defending first, killing plays in my own zone, and then being able to make plays in transition and adding whatever I can to the offense. Jordan Harris across the zone, and they've got another one! Tremendous leader, tremendous character, has unbelievable work ethic. He really is everything that you want in a hockey player here in Northeastern. Like Harris, junior defenseman Jaden Struble was also drafted by the Canadiens. Jordan is awesome. He's a prime example of just like how things should be and he just does everything the right way. It's really a good role model for everyone just to see how he just like lives life. Being drafted to an organization like the Canadians, it's, it's all first class. Just like here, they expect to win. They've been following me throughout the years and, and laying out their expectations for myself and deciding to come back here for this year, for my senior year, was important for me to do and then whatever happens after that, happens after that. It's been quite a journey so far for a kid from the Massachusetts North Shore. I grew up 15 minutes from Merrimack College, so going to Merrimack College games and, and UNH games and some Boston games here and there. I sadly can say I was never really a huge Northeastern fan, but you know, as I got older and, and started getting recruited by schools and everything, and then I came to visit Northeastern, it just seemed like the perfect fit. And, and after talking to the coaches, my parents, it just kind of worked itself out. I definitely made the right decision. Stay with us. When we return, we will look at the rest of the Northeastern Huskies and get you ready for the upcoming Hockey East season. Here's McDonough, two on one, coming back. McDonough, score! Oh, what a shot! 
backyard hockey season is here. Build your rink of dreams today, no matter what the size of your backyard rink, with high quality white rink liners from Jay Freeman. Call 800-841-9442 or sales at jfreemanco.net. Harris, McDonough, score, Ritz Colvian. His first goal with the Huskies. When you're recruiting, you want to get the best players available, but you also want to get the best kids available. You want kids that, again, are here for the right reasons, that want to be at Northeastern, that want to develop here, that want to win here. Obviously, you, you want to work with kids that can get to the next level. I think that's a reason why they chose to come to Northeastern. They feel like uh, the development here it can help them get there, but also they're going to be surrounded by players and their teammates that have the same goals in mind that they have. Here's McDonough, two on one, coming back, McDonough, score! Oh, what a shot! Along with Captain Jordan Harris, junior assistant captains Aiden McDonough and Riley Hughes bring plenty of experience to a young Northeastern roster. This is not comfortable at all for Maine. Hughes took it away from Thiessen and he scores! Riley Hughes, very, very determined kid, just keeps getting better and better. He's developed into a really good leader for us this year. In my opinion, he's one of the best 200 feet guys in Hockey East. Aiden McDonough, you know, it's not a surprise he scores because he works at his game so much. He's focused on getting better every single day. His details and practice are really good. He challenges other players, and, and I think our younger guys can really learn from the way he does things. McDonough is off to a hot start and is one of the top goal scorers in the country. You know, for me, it's it's when I'm moving my feet and uh, I'm confident with the puck on my stick that, you know, sometimes uh, good things come, seem to happen. So um, that's kind of just where I've been at. But I think for us, it's, it's kind of more of a, of a team thing. Another junior, defenseman Jaden Struble, is also being counted on to lead. Jaden Struble is such a good athlete. He's really competitive. He is a guy that would do anything for his teammates. And that's one of the, the things that I love about Strubes is, you know, when he gets into uh, into the battle of the game, he's got everybody's back. Um, unbelievable talent. He's really learning how to develop as a leader. Well, really, just this year, I've been trying to, you know, put all of it together a little bit and, um, you know, focus more on, you know, defensive side. And that's something that the coaching staff have talked to me about is just, you know, the offense will come. It's just kind of doing everything the right way. But it's the sophomores and the freshmen that have many NU fans excited, starting with goalie Devin Levi. Devin is a kid that's really focused. Um, you know, you almost have to kick him out of the rink sometimes because he's here so much working at his game, whether it's, it's on the ice, off the ice, the mental approach. He's a really talented goaltender. He can steal your games. And the biggest thing with him for me is, is the guys really love playing in front of him. Across the zone, and they've got another one. It's Sam Colangelo. You look at a kid like Sam Colangelo, he's a guy that is just scratching the surface for me. He's working at having great details to his game and he, he's a goal scorer. His practices have been excellent this year and for me it's a matter of time before he gets consistent in games. Gunnar Fontaine is, is another kid that's really talented for us and he's a gamer. He's a kid that you, you really look to, to to change a game when you need a big goal or make a big play in a game. He's a sophomore this year, and he's going to be a big-time leader for this program. They also have a couple of young freshmen with loads of potential. Score! A rebound goal. Jack Hughes has made it. One to nothing, Northeastern. It's not easy for a true freshman to come in. You've got to be a special player to have an impact at this level as a 17 or 18-year-old. And the guys that we brought in as young kids, they've done well. Yeah, when you look at a guy like Jack Hughes and, and Ryan St. Louis, two guys that came in, they're young kids, they're true freshmen uh, coming from the development program. It's important that uh, when you look at our culture that they're surrounded by guys that can help them along the way and teach them what it means to play here and, and all the little details and you know helping them get better through the process. Jack Hughes, Riley's younger brother, is expected to be one of the top picks in the 2022 NHL draft. The shoulder of Tyson. When I was his age, I was in juniors still, so I mean, 
He took an accelerated route. He skipped his senior year of high school he got here. He was just a better player at a younger age. They challenge each other as brothers. Um, you know, Riley being older than Jack, he, he gets on him a little bit. He's trying to teach him the right way to do things. I want the best from him. I'm also a little bit hard on him. If, like, if he's messing up, like I'm going to be the first one to blast him. So hopefully he doesn't get too angry about that. We're a young team right now. Like We're still trying to figure out our, our full identity and how we want to play, but definitely an exciting team. Which is why more and more fans are coming to Matthews Arena to be part of the doghouse. You know, I think we're an exciting team to watch because we can both defend, we have a great goalie, and we put goals up on the board. Guys are buying into, you know, the little things and the details. Yeah, I'm really excited for the rest of this year. Good win, man. I really like our team. I like our group of kids. We're growing. I don't think we've played our best hockey yet as a group consistently, but we're working towards that. Listen, we took a step tonight. We took a big step. Now we have to continue to take that step again tomorrow. They're going to be better. We need to be better tomorrow. But uh, well done tonight, fellas. I feel like the theme of the week this week has been doing the little things right. So I'm not going to reward goals, even though a lot of guys have been scoring. Um, I want to reward someone who played a 200-foot game and um, dialed in the details. There were a lot of guys. I'm going to give it to Ty. Yeah.